Hey guys, my name is Austin Anderson. I work with Eastern Industrial Supplies with their Epic Division. Today we're going to be talking about trans air pipe. But the method that we've got here in front of you today is going to be our push to connect, and that's for sizes inch and a half and down. So when working with trans air, you'll need some uh, very specific tools. Um, here at Eastern, we have these stock. Uh, it comes in this toolkit here that you see. And it comes with everything that you'll need to work with two and a half inch pipe and down. So today we're only going to use a few of these pieces uh, to work with our one inch pipe. Uh, the first thing that we're going to use is our cutter. Uh, second thing we're going to need is our sharpie. We're going to need our depth of insertion marker and we're going to need our reamer. So the first step in this process is cutting our pipe to length. We're going to use our tubing cutter here and we're going to attach it to our pipe and we've got to make sure we get a nice straight cut. So now we've got our pipe cut to the correct length that we're going to need. Our next step is to deburr the pipe. So what we're going to do is take our deburr here, stick it on into the pipe, and just go around a few times here. And then we're going to flip it around and get the outside of the pipe. All right, so once we've deburred our pipe, our next step is to mark our depth of insertion. We're going to use this little tool here that is provided in the toolkit. We're going to flip it to our one inch side. So this will work with half inch, one inch, an inch and a half. So it's got a little stop in here that you'll see. All we're going to do is line it up. And then we're going to flip this over. And we're going to take our Sharpie. And we're going to go right along this line here. So once we have our depth of insertion mark marked on our pipe, uh, the next step is we're going to put our fitting onto our pipe. Today we're working with a one inch uh, male adapter 90. And so with this fitting here, you're gonna wanna make sure that the arrows are lined up with themselves. And so once you have the arrows lined up, you're ready to put the fitting onto the pipe. So you're gonna line it up. You're gonna push all the way until our depth of insertion mark is then at the entrance of the fitting. And now you're good to go. So once you've set your fitting onto your pipe at the right depth of insertion, it is now ready to be in service. Now there are occasions when you have to move a fitting or relocate it. And with this system being modular, it's very easy to do. All you need to do is loosen this nut right here and that will release the teeth and then you can slide the fitting off. So whether you just pull the fitting out of the bag or you just took it off another piece of pipe, uh, they are reusable. So all you do is put the nut on here and you want to just turn it to where it gets nice and snug and you line the arrows back up and then you're ready to use it again.